I'm still taking it all in a little bit, you know. Uh, you know, getting traded in the middle of the season, it's it's definitely a fast turnaround. So I, I don't know if I've had enough time to really process it, but at the end of the day, it's just football. So. Yeah. Uh, I was just thinking about, I don't know, I kind of felt like a, a long drive to my first day of school, kind of. So, yeah, it was a lot to think about. Obviously, you know, playing with Jack Allen, just kind of what's your, how much do you know about Josh? What do you think of uh, him from watching him? And what do you think of playing with him? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I don't know him personally. Um, obviously, I will in the next, you know, 11 games or so, but um, uh, as far as the way he plays, I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. Every time I, I turn on the, the television and watch him play, you know, he plays with a lot of grit, um, a lot of hustle. Um, he plays hard, uh, and uh, obviously he's been, you know, one of the top quarterbacks in the game for a while now. So uh, just to be able to play with him and experience that in person, uh, I think it's going to be uh, real cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, one of the things that um, we harp on as football players is to just be where your feet are. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you you can look back at the past, but only to learn from it. So, uh, you know, this game comes with a lot of ebbs and flows. Um, yeah, we, 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 we weren't having the best season over there in Cleveland, but this season is long, you know what I mean? Uh, but obviously I'm not there anymore, so I'm you know, hyper-focused on my situation now. So uh, I can only go from here. In the sense of going from having one win to going to a team that's leading, leading the division and, and, and maybe a place that you're more accustomed to than being on the winning team, what does that feel like, just making that transition? Uh, I mean, I, it, it, the goal of playing in the NFL is to win. So <laughs> to come in and be on a winning team, uh, it's obviously a good feeling. Uh, it's not a bad feeling. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, it helps a lot, you know, just, you know, with comfortability, I would say. Um, you know, seeing a, a familiar face, uh, especially having that face uh, be your coach, the guy you're going to interact with on a day to day basis. And I know him, you know, I played for him for two years. So, uh, uh, I would just say, just, a comfortability factor, I guess. Yeah. You've been successful at all three stops that you've had. What is what have you learned to make it so to be so consistently good at different spots with different quarterbacks and different systems? Uh, just being me. Um, you know, I've been playing this game for a long time. Obviously, long before the NFL. Uh, I think I have a good feel for the game. Um, just got to go out there and, like I said before, it's just football. You know, uh, go out there. Know your assignment and then just play freely. Yeah. What do you, uh, you think of the prospect of playing one game five days after the trade? Um, I don't know. I, it's uncharted territory for me. Uh, the one time I did get traded uh, mid-season, uh, you know, the Cowboys they had a bye week that same week, so I kind of had a lot of time to prepare to know the system and things of that nature. So uh, this is definitely new for me. But at the end of the get, at the end of the day, it's it's just football, you know. Um, I think I'm a pretty cerebral guy, at least cerebral enough to um, learn the playbook um, as fast as I can, so I can go out there and get lined up and just run routes, catch the ball, get open, you know, compete in the run game. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do remember that. Uh, I remember that meeting vividly because I didn't have many meetings coming out. Uh, I knew I would be, you know, a top five, top ten pick. Um, so obviously, I had an agent at that point. We were very selective about who we met with. Um, so yeah, I remember I met with him in a, a restaurant in Tuscaloosa that I used to go to all the time, and you know, we talked some ball. So I remember it. Yeah.
Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, experience is the best teacher for 100 percent. Um, you know, it's easier to go through something that you've been through before. So definitely can lean on that for sure. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does 100 percent for for several reasons, actually. Um, you know, it's just that feeling of uh, having a fresh beginning, a new start, a uh, blank canvas that you get to control your destiny, you know. So, yeah. You said you're a really cerebral guy. I know you're a big chess player. Do you kind of take that out of the field with you as far as kind of how you set up people and how you play your game? They kind of coordinate that the same way? Yeah, I, I guess you can draw a lot of parallels from the two. Um, Definitely, I, I try to set people up with my route running, try to deceive them, try to make them think I'm going a way that I'm not going. So, yeah, definitely. What do you remember about the 2022 game? Uh, yeah, I remember, <laughs> I remember that game. I remember we were supposed to, I, I believe, play here. It was crazy snowed in here, so we had to change location. I remember we drove to Detroit um, to, play, to play the Bills. Uh, I remember having a, a pretty decent game that game for sure. Definitely over 100 yards. I think I might yeah I scored, um, but but we did not win. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that was disappointing. But yeah, I remember the game. Outside of the snow, what do you know about the city of Buffalo, surrounding area, Western New York? Not much. I'm not gonna lie. To not much. I don't know much about Buffalo. I, obviously, I've, I've I've been to New York on several occasions, but never this way for real. Yeah, it's it's cool. I mean, Adam Henry was definitely one of my favorite coaches, so uh, I feel real good. I mean, we 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 have a good relationship. Uh, we was talking a lot um, after he and I both departed from the Cowboys. He's actually one of the few coaches that I kept in contact contact with um, so much like that. So uh, I don't know. It was just unexpected, but um, we definitely have a good relationship. So yeah. What are your Um, I, I would still have to, you know, kind of go through the week, get a routine, um, still learn a, the playbook and everything. I just got here, you know what I mean? So um, I don't really have an expectation right now that I can chalk up to being realistic uh, until I go through the week. Uh, obviously, um, if I had to answer the question, the expectation would just be, you know, to take a, to take full advantage of my opportunities. That's it. I don't know how how – what opportunities I will be uh, blessed with um, for Sunday, but uh, whatever it is, just take full advantage of it. Yeah. I was I only had two options. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Frank Gore, me and he, me and him are from a similar place. I never really met him, but I know his dad. So I guess you could say we kind of have a, a, a quasi type relationship. I would say um, Mike White play play with him at the Cowboys. Um, not many, not many people, <laughs> honestly. Uh, but I still haven't met everybody. So uh, yeah, still looking to meet some guys. For sure. Uh, you know, the turnaround was so fast. So obviously I was getting a lot of calls and text messages and things like that. So, yeah, I was looking at my phone a, a bit, but I was really just trying to take it all in, just trying to think about the situation. Um, like someone said earlier, it did kind of like reinvigorate me. Um, it motivated me for sure. So I was just, you know, um, I guess it was a, a very introspective drive, I would say. So.